Section 3.2, some simple patterns of chemical reactivity. Nice easy lesson today. I think you're going to um, do fine. There's three types of reactions that we'll look at today. Combination reactions. You see the word combine there. So two things are combining together to make something bigger. So the elements in two, uh, two different compounds have kind of fused and made some bigger type of compound. So that's a combination. Decomposition, you can see decompose there. Decomposition is the opposite of a combination where a bigger molecule will break up down into two or more molecules. And then combustion is burning, something on fire. And that's combustion. If it combusts, it burns. So let's look first at combination reactions. In a combination reaction, two or more substances react to form one product. So let's look first of all at what we've got here. This is magne magnesium ribbon. Um, and if it you set it on fire, it burns with an incredible white light. Enormous amounts of energy uh, come off of this. And what's happening is it's reacting in the air. So it's burning. And the red here is oxygen molecules. It's a double, double uh, atom here, oxygen. And the magnesium metal here. And the oxygen will react with the metal and actually become a white powder. So at the end, it's no longer metal. It's no longer glossy and silver. It's a white powdery substance. And the white powder is magnesium oxide. It's almost like rust. If you think about it, it's oxidized. Rust is oxidized. So if you have silver or a silver shiny metal um, iron nail, uh, silver in color, and it combines with the oxygen in the air, you end up with a oxygen or an oxide of that iron. This is the same thing. You have an oxide of the magnesium. So it's combining to make something, um, something new. A decomposition reaction is exactly the opposite of a combination. In a decomposition reaction, one substance breaks down into two or more substances. So in the case of um, the, the test dummy, uh, it, the filling of an airbag uh, happens in a split second, less than a second, and it's a nitrogen gas that's being emitted from from a decomposition reaction. So it's decomposing into nitrogen gas very, very fast. So here's some examples. Calcium carbonate. Uh, calcium carbonate would be like seashells. Uh, it can break apart into carbon dioxide and calcium oxide. Um, the calcium oxide would wash away and then the carbon dioxide go into the air and then say you're a tombstone or whatever it's made out of, of limestone or the state capitol building or um, fancy buildings downtown that have carvings in them. Sometimes, well, actually, you can't even make it out because of acid rain. This is potassium chlorate. Potassium chlorate is uh, breaks apart into potassium chloride plus oxygen. So it's breaking apart into two things. That's decomposition. And then the sodium nitride uh, is what this guy is. It's nitrogen gas, and it's a very, very fast, uh, fast reaction. So here's a combination. Um, this is how I learned it. A is some reactant. B, A plus B yields C. So C is some bigger reactant that A and B kind of fuse together to make. So carbon plus oxygen is carbon dioxide. Nitrogen plus hydrogen is ammonia. Calcium oxide plus water is calcium hydroxide. So something small breaks, uh, fuses together into something big. Decomposition is it's backwards. C breaks down into A and B. And we looked at some of these a minute ago. Potassium chlorate breaks into potassium chloride plus three oxygens. Notice that this is a balanced equation where they have checked each one and made sure that and used the coefficients in order to, uh, to make sure that they're, they're the same on both sides of the arrow. Lead carbonate breaks apart into lead oxide and carbon dioxide. Copper hydroxide breaks apart into high, copper ox, or copper one, uh, sorry, copper two oxide plus water. 
So the next one is combustion. So combustion is reacting of something with oxygen, uh, but it's not just it's not just as though oxygen were making something rust or make something tarnish. Like silver could react with the oxygen in the air to tarnish. That doesn't mean it's on fire. Uh, it's it is a rapid um, it's a rapid um, burning essentially of a fuel. And so the best fuels are hydrocarbons, where you have some kind of a carbon-hydrogen combination, either multiple carbons, multiple hydrogens, or, or just some kind, of a some kind of a combination of hydrogen and oxygen, or hydrogen and carbon, and it burns in air to make carbon dioxide and water. And it's always going to be the same. You're always going to make carbon dioxide and water. So if you look here, this is methane gas, which is called natural gas. It's one carbon and four hydrogen, so it's a hydrocarbon plus oxygen. So the oxygen comes in the Bunsen burner, the gas is coming from the gas, and the flame is the react it's the reaction of the of the oxygen reacting with the methane. That flame is making products. Inside the flame is carbon dioxide, which escapes, and water vapor, and the water vapor um, would would eventually escape too. If you have um, a gas stove at your home and you put a, a pot of spaghetti water on the stove, one of the things that you may notice is that you get some you get some condensation on the outside of the pot. That condensation is the water vapor that's coming off of the gas that you're burning and it condenses on that pot and you get kind of a condensation until that pot's very, very hot and then it won't do it. But as, as long as it's cooler than the, than the steam that's coming out of the fuel, uh, then, it's, then it will condense. So you're always going to have water, carbon dioxide. So combustion, you have to memorize this, memorize it right now. Combustion is something, some kind of hydrocarbon plus oxygen on the left yields carbon dioxide and water on the right. So if you had perfect fuel, you wouldn't have any, any soot. You wouldn't have any, any um, um, ashes. Like if you could burn it 100% efficiently, burn every bit of it, then there would be no uh, solids left over at the, uh, after burning fuel like a campfire would give you.